Wow. Um, as everybody has said before me, this is just a phenomenal honor. Um, so first, I just want to say thank you to the committee um, and congratulations to all the other inductees. Quite a group to, uh, to be standing alongside. So congratulations to you as well. Um, first, I, I want to thank God for blessing me with the talent and the health to play the game of soccer. Um, and I think ultimately led me here to Michigan State, um, a place that would be home. Um, second, I have to thank my family and my extended family for their unwavering support. To my parents for empowering me, being at every college soccer game, home and away. Um, my mom was my first soccer coach and she's going to claim the fame. I'll let that happen. Um, and thanks to my dad for bringing me along to um, soccer games that he was refereeing. And I got to sit there at the side of the game while he was officiating and just learn. Um, so thank you guys to you um, for all you've put in. Uh, thank you to my brothers for challenging me. Shout out to my brother Eric, it's his birthday today. Um, so I've got three brothers, thank you for challenging me. Um, always letting little sister play in the basement. Um, you toughened me up. Uh, you taught me how to be crafty. You taught me how to be a great teammate. Um, you probably sacrificed a lot more than you thought that you would have to for little sister, and I really appreciate it. Um, to my high school sweetheart, um, who was with me every step of the way here at Michigan State, thank you for supporting me throughout uh, my entire college journey, even doing the beep test every summer as we pre prepared for the fall season. Um, I really appreciate all the sacrifice and just allowing me to follow my dreams. Um, so I'm thankful for all of you and all of your sacrifices for me. Um, next, I have to thank the people who became my family, and that's my coaches. Um, Tom Saxton couldn't be here today, Tammy Farnham, and Stacey DeLong. Thank you for your guidance in life, for history lessons on away trips at every school that we went to, empowering me to be, be the best soccer player that I could be, and for loving me as a person before you loved me as an athlete. Um, it was so special getting to play for three coaches who lived and breathed Michigan State because you had walked that path before me as Spartan athletes yourselves. Um, also playing for two strong women who inspired me to become a college coach. I appreciate you both more than you know. Um, <clears throat> during my recruiting journey, you were the ones sitting at the game in the pouring rain when all the other coaches went on side. You were the only ones there. You could see the, the rain dripping from your hats and your umbrellas. And that's what I knew, that you would be supporting me during the good and the bad, no matter what. And I knew that I had to be a part of that Spartan family. I would also be remiss if I didn't mention the many teammates over my four years who worked to make our team, and as a result, me, become successful. None of this is pos uh, possible without them. Every time I step foot back on MSU's campus, something has changed, been built, evolved, and that's awesome. But what I believe makes Michigan State so special is what you guys have said before, the people. There are people who are part of my journey that oftentimes went behind the scenes. Uh, Mandy Chandler was one of the best academic advisors that you could have, truly cares and pours into the lives of her student athletes. Damon Rensing and the men's soccer staff uh, for being a part of my journey, for supporting me, letting me train with the men's team when I was a senior after my season was done to get ready for the women's pro league. Thank you to the weight staff, challenging me, making me better. Thank you to the athletic trainers, Dr. Covan, for keeping me healthy and quite literally piecing me back together to get me back on the field after my first and only major injury in college. And whether he remembers or it or not, thank you to Coach Izzo. During my um, recruiting journey, two different occasions, I got to sit down with Coach Izzo. I was a big basketball fan, um, and he was willing to sit down. First time we talked about uh, the vision for DeMartin Stadium at the time, it was Old College Field. The second time I got to see the vision for DeMartin Stadium, and by the time I committed, I got to see that vision become a reality. He didn't have to sit down with a women's uh, soccer recruit, just somebody that was just it loved basketball, but he did. And lastly, thank you to all those that came before me and paved the way for opportunities for women in sports. I am so grateful and so appreciative. You can have all the resources in the world, but you, if you don't have the people, you have nothing. My successes are a direct reflection of the people that were part of my life and my, my journey here at Michigan State. So thank you to all of you for investing in me. It has truly been a privilege to wear the green and white and I know to whom much is given, much will be demanded. 
I will always be proud to be a Spartan. Go Green.